we have our user interface set up, now let's build out a class that's going to represent our board. And this Sudoku board is going to be a class that we use in order to try out different um, configurations of the numbers in the board as we do our backtracking solver. So I'm going to come over here and create a new class. And I'll give it a capital B board. And it's just going to, not going to have any main, so we're just going to use it to represent a board. And what I'm going to do in this board is I'm going to create a constructor for starters. And what my um, constructor is going to do is it's just going to initialize the um, spaces on the board. How are we going to keep tra track of the spaces on the board? Well, we'll have uh, a variable inside that keeps track of the different numbers that are in a board. So let's see. Um, we will have it be um, an array of integers. We'll call it um, a two-dimensional array of integers called um, We'll call it lower, we'll call it lowercase b board. And that's going to equal a new integer array that's nine by nine. All right. So in our constructor, what we need to do is we need to go through and we need to make sure that there's a new integer in each one of those spots, or it's equal to null. So when we first start off, they're all going to be equal to null. So let's <clears throat> just for <clears throat> um, they're going to be equal to null. So we don't even have to do anything in our constructor. But what I want to do is I also want to uh, I also want to make available another constructor that can copy an existing board. So we will make another constructor that takes as a parameter a board that we'd like to copy. And in this one, we're going to go through and we're going to go through um, rows and columns. So we'll say we'll do the outer one in columns. We'll see is less than nine. Do C plus plus, and then we'll also have rows and we'll go through one at a time and we'll say that board sub column sub row so the instance variable is going to equal a new integer um, where we are going to copy and we're going to get the elements one by one by one out of our um, other board and store it there. Now we haven't implemented a get method yet, so let's do that next. Let's go up here and let's make this private just to make sure that only we can access the board. That helps with encapsulation. Add another close parenthesis, another curly bracket, and oh gosh, okay, we'll just go ahead and set it equal to that. I actually well let's just see how this works out. So I want to implement a get method. So I'm going to come here and ask Eclipse to create the get method for me. And all it's going to do is it's going to return an integer and it's going to return board sub column sub row. And now we'll go up here and we'll fix this. I want to make sure that it's okay. So it should be okay to not make another integer. We should be able to just copy that right away. Okay, so between, um, between our constructor that doesn't do anything, but it's just going um, just gonna to return, it doesn't have to do any work, we also want an alternate constructor that will take in a different board and make a copy of it. In order to do that, we need a getter, and when we have a getter, we also, well, let's see, our getter can be public, we want to allow that to happen, and we also want a setter as well. And so when we set something, we're going to set row column and we're going to give it an integer x and we'll say that position equals whatever we set and that doesn't setter doesn't return anything. Okay, I think that's pretty good. That is a uh, representation of a board that we can work with. Whenever we make a class, we always make a um, JUnit test in order to test it. So let's go ahead and make a JUnit test case for that board. Uh, we'll call it board test. Good, we'll go to next. I want to test all of the different methods here, so I'm going to check them off. Uh, I don't have JUnit 5 added to my library, so I want to go ahead and do that. Thank you for helping me out. I'm going to put this over here so we can see the code at the same time. So when I test the board, all I'm going to do is I'm going to say, um, board B equals new board. So that's just testing the basic basic constructor. 
and um, yeah, so that should that should be fine. If that doesn't throw an exception, then everything will be great. Now, what I want to do is I want to test the constructor that uh, actually next let's test the getter. So make a new board, and then we want to assert true that b dot get zero zero equals null. And in fact, we want to check to make sure that all positions are equal to null. So I'm going to go over here, copy this loop. I'm going to put that there. And I'm just going to make sure that every position is equal to null. All right. And then for my setter, I am going to take a board that we have. Oops. Do that. Okay, so I'm going to take a board, I'm going to go through, and I'm going to um, set each position. And I'll set it equal to 1, say. And then what I need to do is I need to copy my code here and make sure that it actually worked. And so I'll make sure that it is equal to 1 instead. All right, so that tests my getter, make sure everything's null when I get created. This tests my setter, make sure that everything that when it's null and we set it to one, it actually turns into one. And now when, when I want to test my other kind of constructor, what I want to do is I want to create a new board. Create a new board, I set everything equal to one. Now I want to create a second board, B2. I want to use my alternate constructor where I, where I want to make a copy of my existing board. And now what I need to do is I need to make sure that in my new board, everything that I get is equal to 1 to make sure that everything got copied over OK. All right, so now to make sure this works, I'm going to run this as coverage, as a JUnit test. Good, and I can see from my coloring on my coverage that I just ran this constructor. Now let's test our getter and do coverage of that. That test passed. You can see I just called my constructor and my getter. Let's try my setter. You can see I call my constructor, my getter, and my setter. Great. And then finally, let's check our copy constructor. And that passes. And so great. So now I can just run all of those all at once by clicking on the class, doing the entire coverage as a JUnit test. It runs all of my tests, all of them pass. So now I'm comfortable that I've created a, um, uh, I'm confident that my board has minimal, if any, errors. Great, so now we have a board that we can work with. Let's carry on in the next video.